Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Anuj Chavla. I'm a foot and ankle specialist. Uh, so trauma is always, uh, actually it is always very challenging, but uh, most of the times it has been given to the residents to operate on a simple fractures. So I still remember I did my first ankle fracture uh, when I was a first year. Despite doing such a huge amount of trauma uh, during your initial years of residency, uh, I realized that the understanding of trauma was always lacking. Uh, there was no one to teach you exactly how to deal with an ankle fracture. What is the significance of basic structures like uh, posterior mellulus uh, or syndesmosis uh, or even deltoid ligament for that uh, matter. So we were always told to focus on the major bones and uh, just fix medial and the lateral mellulus and ignore the rest of the things. And as a result, uh, the patients would develop long-term complications and uh, uh, which would lead to a poorer outcome. Similarly, in the foot as well, all the fractures were always being taught that, you know, just manage them conservatively, be it uh, calcaneum fracture uh, or be it any kind of metatarsal fracture or uh, sometimes even something like subtle Lestrange injury. Uh, they were not actually being diagnosed because uh, the x-ray was uh, normal and there was no fracture. So that is the reason that I think it is very important in the current scenario that a condition that you can see, you're seeing so frequently, uh, it can be an ankle fracture, it can be, you know, uh, or uh, something like a foot uh, fractures, but you need to know what is the basis of uh, management of that particular condition and uh, what are the things that you should be looking for uh, before uh, you plan any case uh, or during the intraoperative uh, assessment, as well as how do you have to look for in the post-operative or post-fracture period whether this is going to cause any problem or whether or what are the possible complications that can happen if this injury is managed non-operatively. So we are coming up with this foot and ankle uh, trauma course. It is going to be a two days uh, extensive academic uh, feast for uh, all the premium subscribers of Conceptual Orthopedics. Uh, one day we are going to focus only on ankle fractures. That would just not just include the basic concepts and the classification of the ankle fractures, which you are all aware of, but it would focus on posterior mellulus fractures. It would focus on syndesmosis injuries. It would also focus on neglected ankle injuries and uh, uh, as well as pediatric ankle fractures. These topics are not really being talked about or we don't really you know, hear about them so often. Uh, the second day will be dedicated to the foot region. So foot, we would talk about calcaneum, we would talk about Taylor's fractures, we would talk about Lisprang. And I think the most important thing uh, for any uh, general orthopedic surgeon is to understand uh, what is a subtle Lisprang injury. We would not just talk about all these things. We would also talk about metatarsal fractures. We'll talk about fifth metatarsal fracture or Jones fracture, which is one of the most commonly uh, fractured bone uh, in the foot and ankle region. We would be talking not just about them, malunited calcaneum fractures, as well as uh, we would be talking about at least tendon rupture, which is also a part of trauma. So we have faculties from all over the country and not just from country, including Dr. Dimby from uh, the UK. So uh, this is going to be covering everything with respect to the foot and ankle trauma. And that's what uh, our aim is. So we will see you on 28th and 29th of May for conceptual foot and ankle trauma course. Thank you very much.